Today, we're thinking about Palm Sunday, the day that Jesus set his face to Jerusalem, knowing where this journey would end. He still chose to take the road to the cross. And so reading from St. Luke's Gospel. And as the disciples were untying the colt, its owners said to them, why are you untying the colt? And they said, the Lord has need of it. And they brought it to Jesus and throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. And as he rode along, they spread their cloaks on the road. And as he was drawing near, already on the way down the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of his disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. For one short time, Jesus accepts the adulation of his disciples and the onlookers who probably joined in. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Pharisees, of course, were shocked. They knew what the disciples were claiming and what Jesus was accepting, that he was the Messiah, the one who was to come, the one whom God was sending to his people. What they did not know was that Jesus knew where this was going to end. He knew very well that the kind of kingship that he was destined for was not the sort of king that sits in a hall and dispenses justice, even the best sort of justice. His kingship would begin from the cross, reviled, misunderstood, and forsaken even by those who were acclaiming him on this Palm Sunday, apart from the very, very few. So while there must have been a part of him, perhaps, that dared to hope, dared to hope that it might be different, that this adulation, this joy of his triumphal entry into the city of Jerusalem might actually be what it seemed to be, the coming of the Messiah to God's city. Perhaps it would all work out for the good. But he was not a man who was deceived. He knew the road that he was being called to walk. And so, although it was a joyous time for his disciples, it was bittersweet for him, because he was not the sort of Messiah who would end up with anything less than a crown of thorns.